Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will learn how we can insert data in MongoDB with Node.js. So first of all, we will create a separate file for insert data. Why I am creating a separate file? So that uh, we can create our insert functionality code in a separate file. And in the upcoming videos, we will create a separate file for update record and delete record also. And uh, after that, we will import mongodb connection from uh, mongodb.js file which that file is actually created in the last video guys if you don't know how we can connect mongodb with the node.js then you can watch our previous two videos so in last two videos uh, i just told you that how we can connect mongodb and how we can uh, read data from mongodb to node.js and then we will learn how we can insert a single and multiple records and at the last we will discuss some important interview questions so now let's create a new file so let's say i am putting my file name is insert.js uh, i just made it insert so let me just uh, correct this typo and here first of all we have to import our mongodb connection as we just imported in the last video so let's just take a const db connection we can just make it simple like db connect after that let's uh, require uh, mongodb file right and uh, after that let's create a function and it can be a arrow function so let's say our function name is insert data and that will be a arrow function so let's call it and we are just going a step by step so let's learn that how we can just call this function and uh, let's just add something like uh, just called or something so that we can just get to know that this function is called insert data and now let's uh, run our uh, insert.js file with the command line and now you will find that this is this function is called now what we can do here let's take a, a data a literal and just call this uh, db connection function and now let's whenever you will just uh, call this data whenever you will just log this data you will find that there is a promise so how we can handle this promise we can just simply put here await and after that you will find this that complete connection is actually return here but uh, for that we just need to make this function async and now here you can see that everything is printed here printed here with the database name and collection name and all but we don't need that we actually need uh, to insert data so what we have to insert here here you can see that we need to insert in our table name brand price and category and for a moment we have only four results so now let's come back here just simply put here data dot um, insert and this will be a function and inside this function we can create a object now let's put here name let's say note 5 brand let's say vivo and uh, price let's say 320 dollar and uh, after that let's put our category and in category we can just simply put here mobile right so after that whenever our command line will be executed you will find that data is already inserted here you can see that that's okay but maybe there is some error so how we can acknowledge that data is inserted or not so for that we just need uh, another variable so let's take a let result but again it will return a promise so that what we can do here we can simply put here await and now let's print here console dot log results 
don't worry that whenever we are running uh, this command again and again a new entry will be done here but that's okay we just want to uh, get to know that all complete process so now you will find that again data is inserted as i told you that's okay but now this console.log actually return the three things acknowledged that means this data is inserted or not inserted count and inserted ids so let's say if this is true that means our data is inserted and you can just simply put here if result dot acknowledged is true then what we can do here we can just simply put here console dot one we can say that data is inserted right we don't need the above console and now whenever we will just save it we will get a message data is inserted that means data is really inserted and if this is not a uh, uh, message not come that means there is uh, maybe there is an error or something right all right so now we just get to know that how we can insert a single result so let's say we want to ins uh, insert the multiple results so that what we can do here that time there should be a array like this and inside array you can just create a multiple objects and that is so simple so let's say I am just putting here some other records, right? So now let's just change this uh, max five, max six, max seven, right? You can change the brand name also. Let's say micro max for one two and three if you want then you can change the price also 420 520 and 620 category will be the same that's okay so now whenever i will just save it now you will find that we got the message data is inserted and now you will find that three records are inserted five six and seven so with that way we can insert the multiple record so it can be an interview question that uh, uh, how we can insert the multiple records so, so that you can simply say that we can just uh, just put here insert and then we can just make a array and we will just able to insert the multiple records second thing uh, one more interview question from last video they can ask that how we can uh, just read the data with the where condition so actually why i am just uh, uh, covering this last video question because in last video i forget to ask the question right so the answer is uh, i can show you with index.js file so if you want to provide a where statement then inside the find you can just simply put here name and your condition right so these are the two important interview question from last video and from this video thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel